New at five, a skateboarding legend has a lot of history right here in Hampton Roads. We told you about Tony Hawk bringing a new extreme sports festival to Virginia Beach this summer. But the area is familiar territory for the skating icon. Philip Townsend takes us back to Mount Trashmore in 1986. The most famous skateboarder in the world has always had a soft spot for Virginia Beach. The man himself, Tony Hawk, sending a special message during the mayor's State of the City address Wednesday. I'm Tony Hawk. And I'm Hawk is bringing the three-day action sport festival to the oceanfront this June, but it isn't the first time he's visited. Tony Hawk. Hawk. Virginia Beach was the backdrop for a pivotal moment in his career. 1986, the East Coast Assault Vert Competition. It arrived as skateboarding was becoming more and more popular. You could find kids in the city making their own ramps and half pipes, skating almost every day after school. But one half pipe brought in people from all over the country. The one here at Mount Trashmore, one of the only public skate parks in the U.S. A scrawny but talented 19-year-old by the name of Tony Hawk would play second at the competition, walking away with newfound fame. Here's Hawk in 2013 on Pharrell Williams' Artist Talk Show. You know, it's funny, I think Trashmore, that was the first time that we really had sort of rock star status. Hawk even posting about the Trashmore skate park a few years ago on Instagram, reminiscing about that 1986 competition and the autographs he signed through the fence after a session. He'd make more trips to Virginia Beach too, showing up unannounced at the Mount Trashmore ramp at least once. Then in 2008, he hosted Tony Hawk's Boom Boom Huck Jam, a skating and motocross tour that made a stop at the Virginia Beach Amphitheater. So, knowing the history, the Jackalope Festival coming this June isn't some random stop for the world's greatest skateboarder. It's a reunion, years in the making. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend.